Hi, boys and girls. I'm so glad that you can join me. My name is Miss Joyce, and this is Jesus and Jammies. Get on your favorite pajamas, grab your favorite stuffed animal, and let's read a book together. We want to thank Beaming Books because they're allowing us to read these books together and even put it online so we can all share. Do you have your stuffed animal? Okay, good. First, I want to show you some of my special live animals. This is Elizabeth. Hi. She has a funny little collar on because she has a little problem with her ear. And she's on a nice cozy blanket. And this... This is Zoe. You see they're both ready for bed? Yes. And this is my stuffed animal. So those are my reading partners. Let's see the book we're gonna read. This is called, There's No Wrong Way to Pray. And it's by Rebecca Ninke and Kate E.H. Watson. Let's see what this book is about. Oh, look at the funny doggy. <laughs> There's No Wrong Way to Pray. When I pray, I talk to God. I tell God about my goldfish, living or floating. Oh, goodness. That goldfish doesn't look too good. She is not happy about that. Uh-oh. I pray for the kids at school, even the naughty ones. Especially the naughty ones who sit by me. What is happening here? Oh, I think he's throwing papers up into the air. <gasps> Some of the children are laughing about it. Some of them, I don't think, are too happy about it. I pray when I'm afraid. When an ambulance goes by with the lights on, I pray for whoever is waiting for it to arrive. Oh, goodness. What is that cat doing up there? That kitten needs to come down. Come off the roof. And there goes the ambulance. And she's praying for the people that the ambulance is going to. I pray before I eat, unless I'm really hungry. Then I pray after I eat. What do you think? Is she really hungry right now? Because she's looking at the food. <laughs> That's funny. Oh, he's... He's trying to go for a piece of bread while they pray. Oh, my goodness. Sometimes I pray when I'm in the bathroom, especially if I forgot a book. Uh-oh. There's a book. I think she forgot the book. Oh, my. What's she doing? Oh, that's exciting. What does she have on? Oh, those look like roller skates. Oh, goodness. I even pray when I'm riding my bike or rollerblading, especially when I'm going downhill. That's what those are, rollerblades. <gasps> She's going down a big hill. Zoe, are you paying attention? Hmm. I don't think so. Let's see. I pray when I'm doing my chores, even when I'm picking up dog poop. I hope God doesn't mind. Uh-oh. Oh, that doesn't look good. There's some trash and raking some leaves. Do you have a dog or do you have a cat? I pray for my dog because he can't go to church. If he did, he'd run around and knock over the candles and eat the communion wafers. Oh, goodness. I pray for my cat, but she just stares at me. I tried to play baptism with her once. But then I had to pray for my scratches to heal. Uh-oh. I don't think her cat is too amused. And that doesn't look good. What do you think, Zoe? Will you get... No, well, she's still really not paying attention. Oh, well. I pray for people I don't know. The ones I hear about on the news. 
I pray for people who live where life is hard. And it helps me remember it's no biggie when the Wi-Fi is out or my brother eats my Halloween candy. <gasps> oh my goodness. What is he doing eating the Halloween candy? Oh, that's being a stinker. I don't like that. I used to pray that my team would win, but then I wondered if the other team prayed for that too. That must put God in a difficult situation. Now I just pray that no one gets hurt. Well, they're playing soccer. That's good outside. Oh, nice. I pray for my family and for my grandma in heaven. I wonder if God nods her way when I do, and then she smiles. I have a grandma in heaven. I like to pray for her, too. I pray for weird stuff sometimes. The bug I accidentally stepped on who wasn't looking so good later. The kid at the store who was having a tantrum. Oh, my. The teenager with the purple hair and a nose ring. My mom prays for his mom, too. I pray for the whole earth and all the animals living on it. I pray for places I've never seen, people I've never met. Ooh, look at that. That looks like a camel. And what is that? Do you know what that is? That's a pyramid. Oh, what do you think that is? Looks like he's on a little bit of an iceberg. Maybe it's a polar bear. Oh. I like to think that they pray for me too. Oh, I like that idea too. Sometimes I pray for things that are more like wishes. Once I prayed I would get a unicorn for Christmas. My mom prayed that her eyes wouldn't get stuck that way. Oh goodness. What kind of look is that? I'm not sure she's too happy with her daughter right now. Then we forgot to pray for a while because we were laughing so hard. I bet God was laughing too. I like to think about God laughing. Nighttime is my best time to pray. It's dark and my mom is sitting beside me. My dog is on the floor focused on loud personal hygiene and my cat is on the bed snoring. Oh, there's your cat. Zoe, do you snore? She's still cleaning. That's a lot of fur. Let's look at the doggy. Oh, he's cleaning too. Look at that. Huh. My mom and I end our prayers the same way most nights. Give all the children food to eat, a place to sleep, and someone to love and protect them. Amen. Oh, that's a good prayer. I like the end of that. When I pray, I talk to God, wherever I am, whatever I'm doing, whoever I'm with. I used to believe there was only one right way to pray, but now I think there's no wrong way to pray. Oh, I like her. Oh, look at her doggy is asleep beside her bed and her kitty cat is on her bed, just like you're on my bed. She's still cleaning. Okay. What are you doing? Are you still cleaning? You're a good girl. <laughs> the end. Oh, that's a good book. I like that book. So I'm so happy that you joined me. Thank you so much. I hope you liked the book. There's no wrong way to pray. What are you going to pray about tonight? Do you pray before you go to sleep too? Think about the things that you can pray for, because God wants to hear. Have a good night. Sleep tight. We'll see you next time on Jesus and Jammies.